Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're looking at Gyarados GX once again. The last Gyarados deck we looked at relied mainly on Celebi and Flail and having backup attackers like Zoark and uh, Drampa and having Megirna to give you some protection against Espeon. But today we're looking at Turbo Gyarados. This is the other version of, of Gyarados GX that could be potentially better. Um, so Gyarados GX has a lot going for it. And it has some things not going for it. For starters, it is obviously a stage 1 Pokemon with 240 HP, which is a ton of HP to have. Um, and we already know the combo. You use the Flail Magikarp from Evolutions with Celebi. And um, with Gyarados, you can do up to 230 damage for one energy. So, yeah, just pretty crazy. Um, it's a really good combination. But today we're going to be focusing on Draconic Disaster. So in the last one... We covered Flail and a bit of Waterfall. Now we're going to cover Draconic Disaster. So, it's basically, it's the exact same attack as Primal Groudon's attack. It does 100 damage, and then if there's a Stadium in play, it does 100 more damage, but then you have to discard that Stadium. Now, this is fine, because you can do 200. 200 is decent numbers. You can knock out Espeons, you can knock out Lele's, Coco's. With a Choice Band, however, you're going to be one-shotting Gardevoirs, Galissapods, Ninetales, Zoarks. And that's pretty crazy. So Gyarados does hit for good numbers with Draconic Disaster with the Choice Band. Again, the only problem is you need five energies, and it's a little a little costly. You know, five energies in this day and age, Gardevoir and Tapu Lele will punish you for having that much energy on your Pokemon. However, it's not too hard to build up since this Pokemon is a Water type. For starters, it's like one Water, four Colorless. So you can use double Colorless energy, but since it's a water type, we have a ton of water support. We have Palkia, which is going to be our main source of building up Gyarados in the early game. We can do Aqua Turbo for 40, search deck for up the two water energy, attach them to your ben one of your bench Pokemon. So we can just put two energies onto like our Gyarados or something, and it's going to be built up even quicker. We have Aqua Patch in the format. Aqua Patch will allow us to put a water energy from our discard pile to one of our bench water Pokemon. We even have cards like Max Elixir, which we can use on Magikarp. We can't use it on Gyarados. One of the reasons why I got it in here in the first place is kind of for Palkia, because if you get a nice quick um, Aqua Turbo off before, like instead of attaching, passing, then attaching, Max Elixir can speed up the process. Because I feel like like a turn one Aqua Turbo is needed um, to speed up the deck a little bit. But yeah, there's so many ways we can build up our Gyarados. It honestly shouldn't be a hassle to build up a Draconic Disaster, and that's one of the good things about Gyarados, is it's not going to be too hard to actually build up its attack. Um, so we're going to try it out, and you know, Gyarados has more support than you may think, because you have a new Magikarp, which helps you against Buzzwold GX. Buzzwold GX is pretty tough, and my Gyarados video I did before, I stated that Buzzwold GX is probably going to destroy you, because they are able to just snipe your Magikarps for free. Now, people are like, one miss, why not just run Mr. Mime, but... That costs a bench spot. Sometimes you don't have space for mine, right? Carp, on the other hand, um, this will protect you from Buzzwool unless they have a Garboder or something in play. Um, so we're actually going to split up. We're going to play two Flails because it's still pretty nice to do one energy for like a lot of damage. Um, but we're going to be running the Submerged Magikarp also just so we have a counter to Gyarados. Because there's so many cards we have to put in this deck, it's kind of clunky. So I would like to play like a split of the two, like two you know, submerged carps and then two flail carps, but for space reasons, I couldn't find room. But there you go. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. But Gyarados, you know, Dracon Disaster, you have to discard a stadium, that's pretty bad. Um, however, you know, we got Lucemine, Lucemine or whatever, whatever her name is, is pretty nice. You can put two supporters or stadiums from your discard pile into your hand, so yeah, you can just grab two stadium cards and then you get them right back. And you go right back to work with Dracon Disaster. So it shouldn't be too hard to Dracon Disaster for a ton of damage thanks to uh, Lucimi. Now, we'll take a look at the other cards in the deck. We got one Lapras. I like opening with this. Sometimes you can use it for collect. Being able to draw an extra card or two could be really nice. Uh, we do play one Shine Celebi. Obviously, we're going to combo this with Gyarados and Flail. It's going to be very important for that reason alone. So we are going to be running one Shiny Celebi. Um... We're going to be running one mana fee to get for your tree. Gyarados is a little bulky. It's got a big four retreat cost. Even Palkia has a two retreat cost. And Lapras has a three retreat cost. Or two retreat cost, sorry. So, you know, mana fee is pretty nice. Uh, just one of those. Again, there's a lot of cards in this deck, so it's a little little on the clunkier side. We got two Tapu Leles for Wonder Tag, obviously. We're going to need it for Wonder Tag. Um, 
so that you are able to get your supporters, especially when you can just wander tag for Lusamine, grab a stadium for your discard pile, Dracon Disaster for 230. Seems like a pretty dang good combo. Um, some other tech cards, uh, you can run Tapu Fini if you want. You could probably take out Lapras over Fini. If you want to run Fini for Tapu Storm, that's fine. It could be good in Gardevoir if they get a quick Gardevoir off, because again, this deck gets shredded by Gardevoir. Uh, but Dreadstorm is honestly a pretty strong attack too, so I don't know if you want to go Tapu Fini or not. It's up to you though. You could run one Mr. Mime. If you want to take out this Magikarp, throw in a third Flail, you could run a Mr. Mime in here. It would be nice. It does, you know, protect your Celebi and stuff like that of all sort of getting damage, especially since Rough Seas is no longer in the format. If Rough Seas is in the format, this deck would be kind of OP. Um, so yeah, we're going to the items. We got four patches. Obviously, this is going to help us with the turbo part of the deck. Four max elixirs to also speed up the deck process. One super rod to be able to get back some Pokemon energy. Four ultra balls to be able to search our deck for our Pokemon. Rip dive ball. We got two Brooklyn Hills. Brooklyn Hill is great just to put like a free Magikarp on your bench. And we do play two Po Towns. And the reason I'm playing two Po Towns, sometimes it lets us do even more damage. Now, if we're playing against Gardevoir... That's already just going to put him in range of being KO'd by a Dracon Disaster without a Choice Band. Sometimes that's better. Um, also, it could help us out against Silvaleo or Metagross. Because um, when with a Choice Band in Pogue Town, they'll be in range of being one-shotted by Draconic Disaster. Also, it kind of fuels up Flail, which is kind of nice. One Bridget to be able to fill up a bench. We got two Guzmas. I mean, this deck is straightforward. You're just going to be swinging every turn. You don't really need any more than two Guzmas, I feel like. Especially because you're not going to Guzma every turn. You're going to play stuff like Lusamine. Speak of the Devil. There we go. This is how we're going to get our uh, stadiums back. I mean, you could also Lusamine for a Guzma if you really wanted to. So that's why we can kind of cut the supporters. However, I still feel like it's better to just maximize the draw support, even with the Lusamines. Because you can still Lusamine for your Guzma if you want, right? But I still feel like it's better just to have maximum draw support. So we still have our four ends, still have our four sycamores. Um, yeah, I know you're probably like, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing this regular art end in your deck. You need to get rid of it. Well, I'll tell you right now. Once, once this promo end, like I, if right now it's like 34 packs, but this card is going to drop very, very soon in price because the the codes will be so much easier to get. So this card is going to be a lot cheaper, and I'm going to definitely get one of these. So then I can have four full art ends, and I don't have to have that one regular art end that's kind of just there to fill up space. <laughs> Kappa. So uh, yeah, don't worry. That's coming soon. Um, yeah. We've got three choice bands to do extra damage, especially because sometimes Dracon Disaster doesn't hit for the best numbers. Four D... Or three... Not four. we got three DCEs. Um, again, Dracon Disaster can utilize greatly off DCE. And we got 11 waters. And the reason I'm going with 11, I do like playing a lot of energy in this deck. You want to have turns where you're getting energy in the discard for Aqua Patch, two energies out of your deck for Palkia, hit, making sure you're hitting with Max Elixir. I feel like 11 is good. We do have Super Rod, which could make you want to cut it down to 10 if you want. I still feel like 11 is the way to go. So yeah, this is my Turbo Agarados list. Let's go try it out on PDC Joe. Let's see if this deck has some kind of potential. Alright guys, let's get some games with Turbo Dose, and let's see how this deck fares against other decks over the other Gyarados deck we made. So our first match is going to be against Vikabulu. Thankfully, we're weak to Lightning, though. I'll we'll see how this matchup goes. I'm going to go Tails on the coin flip. Totodile, why do you do this to me? You suck. Alright, this isn't... I mean, the only problem I have right now is Palkia being weak to Grass and Lapras being weak to Grass. I mean, if you being weak to Grass, that's a bit of a problem. We do actually get a decent opening hand, though, so that's good. And he's gonna mulligan, which is even better. Yeah, it's Vika Bulu. Good thing is, obviously, Bulu can't one-shot carps, which is nice. Draw an extra card is nice. Lose me, no thanks. He opens with Bulu, great. Great, I love being KO'd in one hit by Horn Attack, great, yeah. It's probably going to be the case, unless they can retreat. I don't know if we can do it, though, unless we top deck a water energy or something. <laughs> Manaphy, why do you suck? Why do you have to get KO'd in one hit by a Bulu with a Choice Band? That's why I don't like playing against Vika Bulu, man. It's one of my least favorite decks to play against, if you haven't already figured that out. Okay, I guess we gotta go Lele here for... I don't know. Actually, Bridget, or... We can't bridge it for Palkia and Magikarp at the same time. That's the only issue. I mean, we're already weak to grass, so who cares? And I already know my opponent's got a turn to Vika Volt, so I don't even know why I want to go Palkia here. I think it's best just to go bridge it. 
for Sycamore. I think we gotta just try and build up a Gyarados. Might be bad though if you have Guzma and a Grass Energy. Because he could just target my poor Carp down. What did Carp ever do to you? What did it ever do to you? So I guess we gotta try here and see if the Carp will work. I kind of want to go for Flail, but Flying Flipped is a little bit of a problem. I don't like devoting all the energy to one Magikarp either, but, you know, YOLO is what they say. We can Dare Dose him next turn, too, so. If he has Guzma, though, I am going to cry, but I already know he does, Kappa. Uh, Celebi, there's Palkia, and there's Dose, and that's actually not a bad hand. So, we'll see if Manaphy gets KO'd here. I'm praying this dude does not have a Guzma. If he has a Guzma and a Grass, or even just a L energy in general, I'm gonna cry. Like, I already know this dude's got the KO on the poor Carp. Like, Carp, come on. Don't do this to my poor Magic Carp. Yeah, see, I told you I had Rare Candy Beakable. I'm always right about these things, folks. Every time. Please don't have Guzma. Okay, good. And N. We just need to find a stadium. We can knock out the Tapu Bulu, and then we're not going to get a KO in a return, which is pretty good. And on the background, we can build up another card, hopefully. We don't find a Stadium, but we do have a uh, Ultra Ball. Field Blower is fine, because Gyarados is so boss that it doesn't even need it. Let's see if he takes out my Mana Fear or not. He literally just needs a Choice Band to take me out, which is embarrassing. He had it! Oh my gosh. Mana Fear, why are you so weak? Alright, so luckily our hand is good enough to be able to get Dose and thing. DCE, it's not really what I wanted to draw, but it's fine. Grab Gyarados. We just need to find a stadium, and we are golden. I think we end him here. Hmm. What if I whiff Stadium? I can M to 4, hope that he whiffs the Stadium. Or, what if we whiff Stadium? That's the thing, like... Let's just check our Stadiums real quick. 2? What? Oh, no. I guess we have to go Sycamore. We have to go Aggro here. We have to go all in and try and hit the Stadium. Come on. Don't whiff, don't whiff, don't whiff, don't whiff. Nice. Okay, good. We can even do this, too. Build up another carp in the background. Kinda sucks I lost that DC, though. Might slow me down a bit, but it's fine. And before I waterfall evolution, let's do Draconic Disaster. Take out this Tapu Bulu GX. We got another stadium, too, so that's nice. And we'll take our two prizes. Brooklet, there's another stadium. More energy, which is always good. So we're looking pretty. Two patches, two max elixirs are down. So that's good. Alright, nice. Let's see what happens, though. Oh, no, we're gonna get knocked out. Forgot Coco. Mm. Forgot about Coco for a second. Forgot. Oh, my gosh. Forgot Coco is just gonna KO me, isn't it? I guess so bad does it take me out? electric ball 130 160 yeah Gyarados you're not gonna live everything you get one shot at my Pokemon with 110 each Gyarados why do you suck that's so bad I think we lose. <sighs> I think we lose. I don't think we can do anything. He just retreats into Bulu and wins the game. Unless this end saves us. Rod, I uh, guess? Sure. I don't think we can win. I think the fact that he just had the double typing it is just too much to deal with. Ash, that's screwed. Let's just get back two energies and a dose. It doesn't really matter, in all honesty. I think my opponent has game here. Depending on what he drew off of that. Uh, two cards. He hasn't played a Sycamore. 
he's definitely got game. Let's see. My opponent doesn't have game. We might have a chance of coming back. But if he does, we're kind of ripped. Like, he just needs one energy and it's over. Even a Guzma has way, has the game on my dose. He just needs an energy or, like, a way to get an energy like a supporter and it's game over. Do you not have it? Oh, wow. We might still be in this. Okay. Can we 70 damage him? Okay, good. Because I'm not trying to... Actually, hold on. We might not even be able to attack with Gyarados here. All right, let's Sycamore. Oh, I should have Brooklyn Hill first. My bad. Can we find Aqua Patch? Max Elixir. Oh no, we can't. Oh no, wait. What am I saying? We still have the KO. It's all good. What do I get rid of here? Choice Band, I guess, because we're still... Yeah, Choice Band's fine. Because we're doing 200, so I think it's fine. We'll grab Carp. Let's see. We might still be in this match. I don't know. We can do Flail, too, so that's good. I mean, obviously, it's GG if he has a uh, way to... It's GG if he has, like, a Guzmer or something. And luckily, that 40 damage is what we needed to to take him out of the waterfall. And let's see what our prize is. Sycamore. Yeah, that's actually decent. I'll probably need that because I don't know if I'm going to end him again. Let's see. I hope we can get a Guzma. If we can find a Guzma, we'll be golden because we could take out this Tapu Bulu here. I got to hope this end sticks, but again, he hasn't played a single Sycamore. He hasn't played a single Lele or an Ultra Ball, so I'm on I'm on Boro time here, folks. And not that he stand out his deck with Strong Charge, like... I'm on Boro time. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. If at all, because... I don't know. Guzma? Nope. Rip. That might seal the deal. In fact, I need to get Guzma. Because I need to, If I take out Bulu, it will be okay to maybe win. Hmm. I think I hold. I mean, I could Dreadstorm him, too. That could slow him down a bit. I don't know. This is risky. I think I gotta just take the knockout and just play super aggressive here and just hope he doesn't have game with Guzma. Again, he has like a million ways to get get win here, so it's like the odds are so bad, like I don't know. This is gonna be a hard win to pull off, but I might be able to pull this off, assuming he does not find a Guzma, an Ultra Ball Lele. He has like a million cards he can draw to win the game, so let's see if he has the win or not. I think he might even just have to retreat and do a Vikavolt. Or he's hoping that I don't have another stadium, but I got Lusamine. Lusamine is the real MVP. By the way, sorry if like you heard a banging noise. I hit my arm off my desk. Alright, Energy Recycler. Is that all you got, though? Because clearly he doesn't have a Guzma, so I think that's fine. Unless he drops Coco Choice Band again out of nowhere. I think that's game, though. I think it's game. Unless he... Best thing you can do is retreat and do a charger bug and hope for the best, but don't look like he's gonna do that. No, just nature shotgun. And that is match. That is game. I uh how do we pull that off? I have no clue. We're just gonna flail him. That was a pretty good game, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly thought we were gonna lose that, but nah, the the Pokey gods were like, no, you're not losing today. Honestly, the odds are so stacked against us because a Vikavolt and Coco hitting me for weakness. And then the grass weakness is also covered pretty bad. So I don't know how we managed to win, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take that game. Pretty close match. As much as I don't like playing against Vikabulu, that game was pretty good. I think one thing my opponent could have done is maybe like built up a Vikavolt in the background because this way he had just one shot me with Electro Cannon. But yeah, I don't know. I think that was a pretty good match. Regardless, I think what he could have done is just loaded up a Vikable in the background. Once I took out Coco, he would have been able to KO me. But, I mean, that's fine. We'll open up this chest, and then I think I will see you guys in another match afterwards. Because I am thirsty, and I want to get a drink. So, we'll find another game here with our Vikable deck. Or, 
my Gyarados deck after I open up a chest. I can't believe I just caught my deck a Vigavolt deck. I'm being consumed by the Vigavolt matchup. So let's open up this chest. Don't think I'll get anything good. Maybe we will. And before, this is Rainbow Rare Soul Volley. Oh, look at that! It's themed for the video! I got a Gyarados because it's a Gyarados deck, you see? Hi, ah, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll, I will take it. Alright, well, see you guys in another match. Just Alright, guys, let's get one last match. And I've been trying to find a match for like the past 20 minutes, and I keep running into de-evolution decks and driving me off the wall. So... <laughs> I might get a little salty, but yeah, for like the past like 20, 30 minutes, I, I keep playing against de-evolution decks, and I cannot stand it because I can't beat those matchups. So, <laughs> it's getting pretty bad, but uh, you know, we're going to keep trekking on. I just want to get one last match of this deck, and that has to be a good game. I don't want to play against a de-evolution deck because you can't beat those matchups. This deck, I don't think can beat de-evolution, so I don't know what we're up against. I think it's Gardevoir, which, I mean, at least it's not a de-evolution deck, even though it's probably our... One of our worst matchups, though, still. But whatever. Good open with Palkia. I'm tempted to go Poe Town over Brooklyn Hill. But then I get Carp on my bench. I don't know. Oh, it's not. It's Gorgeist. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy it's not a, a, a deck that runs Espeon and, like, Coco Spam and stuff. Whew. I was getting a little riled up. Alright, so... I'm actually curious to see how this matchup plays out. I have not played against this uh, archetype yet, and I want to see how it plays out. So I do want to make a Gorgeist video at some point, too. And before he still plays one Espeon just to troll me. If he does, I'm just going to throw my laptop out the window. Um, yeah. Hopefully he only plays that 4 DC. Maybe that could help us. Might be a little slow for him. Who knows? I don't think we need Poe Town then. I mean, I don't think we're good. I think Brooklyn Hills is better. We're not gonna need Poe Town. Let's actually do Wonderlock now, which is interesting. Let's see how many tools he runs too. Let's put them all down. I don't think I play any field blowers, so that's kind of bad. Hopefully Palkia lives a turn. Another energy. I, I think I still go into Palkia and just try my best to uh, hold out for now. I was thinking maybe before I do the Brooklyn Hill, I could Guzma, like maybe trap the Orangu in the active, but I don't know. We do find an Aqua Patch. Don't know if I want to play it now though. I might hold. Hmm. Gorgeist, I think, has, what, 90 HP? I, mean, I can't remember. It's either 110 or 90. I think it's 110, actually. I don't know. I think I hold. I could Ultra Ball here. Uh, I think I'm going to hold, though. Uh, hopefully, we, our Palkia doesn't get knocked out, though. That could happen. Our Palkia could very easily go down here. Yeah, I was right. Does have, Oh, no, 120. I was wrong. Yikes. So that means we have to Dracon Disaster him. Alright, let's see if he gets a knockout this turn. So far, he's doing... Yikes. That's actually a lot of damage. I think that might actually be a knockout. That is a knockout. If he gets rid of all those tools and the choice band damage, that's a knockout on Pokia. Nope. Okay, he's actually not. Okay, cool. I actually thought he had a KO there, but he doesn't. Finally, though, we can have some fun... Don't look like he's drawn too well either. So far, he's done his Bridget. Probably should have Brooklyn Hill there, whatever. Okay, that's pretty good. We can even try and build up a carp here. Is Lapras better though? Because, I mean, I kind of want to go for Lapras though, too. Man, if he's prized though, so Lapras is kind of risky. Plus, Ice Beam can't one-shot him, because he only has 120 HP. I think I'm still going to go for Lapras here. Yeah, I ripped that whiff. I think I still go for Lapras and try and build him up here. Like, I could just Ice Beam him. Or maybe I could save Dreadstorm, because if he only plays 4 DCEs, we'll see. Maybe that could uh, help us. 
So no special charge in the format, but maybe we could try and like do like a Dreadstorm play on him. Alright, Pumpkin Bomb. What is he, the Green Goblin Kappa? Yeah, this is definitely a knock me out though. He has a knockout if he gets rid of all his tool cards. It looks like he's going to take it. Cool. We'll end him to four. And yeah, I guess we knock him out with Lepras. Yeah, Gyarados is 10 short if I wanted to do Waterfall, which kind of sucks. I think I'm going to play the Choice Band because I don't really want to draw it. And uh, let's put another Carp on my bench. Still have two Aqua Patch. Alright, cool. Let's send him here. I'm going to say one Choice Band because he does have Zoark and Lele, which we do need to still do that Choice Band for. Okay. Um, what can I grab here? I don't think I need anything. So I think I just... Do I Ice Beam him or do I just Blizzard Burn him? Second Lele for Guzma. Retreat Manif uh, Retreat Celebi. I guess we Blizzard Burn because I'm going to try and Guzma him here. I want to keep that GX stack. I think the GX stack is really important here, guys. Manaphy. Oh, nice. Now we don't have to do... A discard with a DC. That's pretty strong, actually. Unless he ends me to 5, but we'll see if it happens or not. But I think it's better to uh, Guzma him. Um, I want to keep the Jigsaw, because again, we could still use Dreadstorm, because Dreadstorm's really good against a deck that relies heavily on DCE. So, I don't know if I want to keep Ice Beam or get rid of it. So, I think I'm going to hold the Ice Beam, keep the Jigsaw. You never know, we might need it for a better occasion. So, yeah. Okay, Body Bane on Dumbbells is a little bad, because that does hurt the math on the Zoark. Field Blower. Okay, that's fine. We're going to lose our two stadiums. We got Lusami, though. Didn't really care much about that Choice Band, anyways. Alright, let's see what he finds. I don't think he's going to attack me. I mean, he obviously plays Floatstone in this deck. Oh, we actually have the Sycamore rip me. He does play Basic Energy. Hopefully he doesn't play Espeon EX. I have a slight feeling he does, though, just because... Why not? Let's play Espeon! <laughs> I have no clue what that was, by the way. Maybe it's just me being salty for playing at so many Debo decks when I'm trying to find a match that I can actually stand against. So we see an Ultra Ball. So we'll see if he has a Gorg. I mean, he still needs a Floatstone DC and the Gorg guy to stop this Ultra Ball. That's asking for quite a bit. He can draw two cards with Zork. We'll see if he hits it. He dabbed the DCE. He actually got rid of it, though. I, mean, I guess he has Special Charge in his hand. That's kind of weird, though. I think he's holding. I mean, he could even... Energy drive me here, too, if he wanted to. Lock it happen. I mean, I could just knock out Pumpkaboo with Waterfall. We'll do that. So he is grabbing Gore, guys, but he still needs DC and Float, and he got rid of a DC there. And he's evolving the moment of the Choice Band on it, too, which is really interesting. So I don't really know what's going on here. Hmm. Alright, so he has double Gorgeist. Did he find Flow and DC, though? Special charge. So I can get back his two DCEs. That's fine, because we haven't done Dreadstorm yet. So that's good. Alright, cool. This opens up our Gasmo play. I'm going to get rid of Bridget. I guess we'll get rid of Book of Hill, because we can still Dreadstorm him next turn. Even though it is a lot of energy. Gasma. Okay, one Guzma's in the deck. Did we get rid of any? Yeah, we did. Alright. So I'll drop the Lele here. Go for ya boy. We'll knock out one of these Gore guys. I think we'll take out the one with the Choice Band, obviously. That's the obvious target. We can put down Manaphy. Slap down DCE. And yeah, knock out this Gore guy with Blizzard Burn. And the next turn, we can go into the Gyarados. And do some magic there. Plus we still have Ice Beam if we need it. So if we need to buy some time. We can still do Ice Beam. So let's take our prize. Water Energy. That's pretty good actually. Because I don't have to put a ton of energy on Gyarados. And then we get like wrecked by Tapu Lele. Even though we still have 5 energy. I'm calling that not a lot of energy. But you get my point. Body Bin Dumbbells. That's... Yeah we still can knock him out with uh, Blizzard Burn though. So that's good. He must have top decked that. 
He's played a lot of cards, though. We'll see what happens here. I think we're definitely going to see an attack. I think he definitely has a KO here, but we'll see. If he finds it, he definitely has one. I mean, ah, he doesn't all... Technically, he doesn't have a choice band on, but we'll see. Now, at least we can still Draconic Disaster him. I don't... I can't remember if we got him in or not. I don't know. I don't know if he actually does have a KO, because... This is a bodybuilding dumbbells. He'd have to get rid of that. So he's doing 50, 90, 130, 130. Okay, that Sycamore might give him the extra tool and another Pokemon. Sucks that they got rid of the Ancient Trade Pokemon that all rotated out, because this deck would have been pretty good with, like, Entei. Now, this is definitely a KO, though. He has, he has to get rid of all the tools, though, I think. Yeah. Oh, that Manaphy, though. Oh, no. Might have been... Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't think I would have been able to attack him. I need to end him. But even then, that's not going to be good. I don't really know what I can do. I think he has game next turn, because he just needs DCE and another Pokemon. I guess we'll find out if he has game or not. Because Zoark knocks out Manaphy and it's game over, but I had to put Manaphy down to do that Guzma play efficiently and be able to fall with a Gyarados knockout too. Looks like it's game over, man. Gyarados can't be Gorgeist. That's crazy. He definitely has a good... Like, his hand's huge. Plus, he has trade. He hasn't played a single Guzma yet. And I think that's game. He just needs one Pokemon. He has all the resources to win the game, I'm pretty sure. He would need a Pokemon. DC, Guzma. Righteous Beanie knocks out Manaphy. There's DCE. Does he have the Guzma and a Pokemon to finish it off? Trade. Hmm. Either he's slow rolling or he actually doesn't have it and he's trying to get it. He plays Necros. Of course he plays something spread. Oh my god. Ah, the stupid the evolution at meta. Alright. Stretcher. Yep. Now he just needs a uh, Guzma and that's it. He definitely has it in his hand. His hand is massive. Oh, and he's shuffling them back. Does he not have win here? Maybe he doesn't have any. He's trying to lower his hand size for Ranguru. I don't know. Like, literally, all he needs to do is take out Manaphy and it's game over. And I, I can't really respond to that Zork either with Poketown. I don't see how we can win this. Oh yeah, you need a float too, I guess. But he still has the Guzma, right? Yeah, he's definitely digging with the Ranguru, but... He definitely has the Guzma. There's no way he doesn't have it. Uh, maybe he just doesn't play Guzma in his deck? He doesn't? Wow. Okay. Interesting. I guess he doesn't play it. might be what I need though I can't I guess we got a sycamore I can't really I mean I could dread storm him don't think it matters though he still has a lot of his DCs left yeah I don't see a point in anything here I think it's better sycamore maybe try and okay we do have a KO but I was hoping we could knock him out with this Gyarados which all we needed was a couple more aqua patches we didn't get them that kind of sucks. I only had one, never mind. Alright, I guess we... Do we knock him out? We're probably going to lose next turn. I don't know, though. 
Like, the fact that I don't have any Guzmans left tells me otherwise. But... I'm trying to think, like... Can I Dreadstorm him here and buy time? Like, I don't know if it matters. Yeah, I would take away the, uh... Like, maybe just... I can't really trap him. I don't really see how I can win this. I mean, I guess we knock him out and hope for the best. We, that's my play. We knock him out, hope he doesn't have game. But either way, this was a pretty close match regardless. We came pretty close to winning thanks to having one prize left to go. So this game was pretty successful regardless of what happens. But I think he has a game. He just needs Gorgeist and a uh, DCE and it's over. But maybe he doesn't have it. But again, he hasn't played many Sycamores. He still has a Rangaroo. So I don't think we can win. Even though we did take away his trade, I still think it's game. Yeah, there's Sycamore and that is probably the wrap. Because unless he with DC somehow. I doubt that'll happen. So it's probably game over. Gyarados. Gyarados can't beat Gorgeist even though we came kind of close. Looks like Gyarados tried its best. Unfortunately, it can't be Gor. If I was able to go into this Gyarados, we probably would have stood a chance at win. Oh, it's still game. <sighs> Dang it, dude. I was thinking you didn't have the games that you attached the DC, but rip. If we could go into this Gyarados last turn, we might have stood a chance of winning. Unfortunately, nope. Uh, but that'll wrap up today's video. I think that was a pretty good match, regardless of the unfortunate Gorgeist matchup. But at least it was an AD Evolution deck that makes me want to cry and die. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDCGO, PDCGO content. Help me on the road to hitting 3,000 subs. This video was a pain in the butt to make because I could not find any matchups that were not a D Evolution deck. Um, but yeah. I think if I were to take anything out, I don't know what I would take out. Maybe the max, maybe like go three max elixirs, because I didn't find four to be really that efficient. Maybe like a Coco. I think a third Guzma is needed, because I found that I kind of suffered without having that extra, extra Guzma support. That'll wrap the day's video. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you guys on another PCGO video. Have a good day, and goodbye.